Today we're going to be talking about patterns. Now a pattern is something that repeats. And you can see patterns in a few different ways. You could see them in colors, like red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow. And we know that this is a pattern because we can see that red, orange, and yellow repeats. Red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow. You could also see patterns in different shapes, like circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle, square. You could also see patterns in different sizes, like big, small, big, small, big, small. And sometimes you can see patterns in different colors, shapes, and sizes. wanted to tell somebody about your pattern? What if you want to give your pattern a name? That's when you label it. So now we're going to talk about how to label a pattern. And we're going to use the alphabet. So we're going to start off by seeing how this pattern begins. With a big yellow star. Now we're going to label this big yellow star with the first letter of the alphabet, A. So the next time we see another big yellow star in this pattern, we're going to label that one as A2. Now let's look at what's next. A small purple circle. Well, it's not the same size, same color, or same shape as the big yellow star. So we're going to have to label it with the next letter in the alphabet, B. And the next time we see another small purple circle, same color, same size, and same shape in this pattern, we're going to label that one as B also. And look at that, another small purple circle, another B. Let's see what's next. A big yellow star. Now we've seen that before. It has the same size, same color, and same shape as what we labeled A. So this one is A2. Another small purple circle, another B, and another B. And we have a pattern, A, B, B, A, B, B. And we can see that the ABB repeats. So that's what's called an ABB pattern. Well, it looks like there are a few missing pieces that we need to fill in. But first, let's label the pattern. Okay, so we see a triangle. We'll label that as A. A star, we'll label that as B. A heart, we'll label that as the next letter in the alphabet, C. And we have to remember that even though the triangle and the heart use the same colors, they're still different shapes. Now we see another triangle, the same size and same color as what we labeled A. So this is A also. Another star that has the same color and same size as what we labeled B. So another B. And we have another C. A, B, C. A, B, C. The A, B, C repeats, so we have an A, B, C pattern. And now we know what comes next in the pattern. A, B, We know that A is a triangle, B is a star, and C is a heart. We looked at what came before in this pattern to know what comes after. But you see, a pattern never really ends because a pattern repeats. 
over and over and over again. So try it. Make a pattern. And most importantly, 